we have the combustion chamber. We have the um, spiral spring type chamber there, which is to uh, disrupt the um, flow patterns and make it sort of tumble, etc., to try and speed up the flow. Then we go into the um, copper, which is where the water will be um, preheated. The last section is to try to help detonation as well, which is um, a little restrictor setup. And then it comes into what I'm calling a rotary jet turbine. So basically all we've got is the air is air and fuel, etc. as it explodes and detonates, it's coming into here. It's compressed inside here. I have drilled some very small holes, probably a little bit too small. I'm a bit worried they may be too small because that's going to increase the pressure. I've got a 20 millimetre hole inlet and I've got three three millimetre holes outlet. So that's about a um, 11 to 1 ratio, which may be a bit high. This basically whole thing is just a frame holding it on here because it's got to support bearings on either side. So there's a bearing either side. This part spins in the section and this in the centre. The air is coming, the air and fuel mix and it, as it explodes coming up through the centre and then it's distributed through the three tubes and comes out them in jets. The jets cause uh, have high pressure which cause the, um, the, the jets to rotate, hopefully. And the small um, motor here will be um, giving us a bit of an idea of what power we're going to get out of it. And the taco will give us, I'll be able to see any changes in revs. Clunk, 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 clunk. So I've actually had it running with the 4 inch extension on it, with this 4 inch extension. Had plenty of grunt coming out of there and plenty of explosions. So I've now brought it back to the 20mm inside pipe here because I want to try and see if I can get the steam to work on this size pipe. If it'll, if it'll fire. So, that's Same as the others, we'll be starting off with the same thing as we had before. 
and then work into water, etc. So.